We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's game three of the World Leading Series the between the Tampa Bay Tampa Rays Fielder. and the Number Los 39. Angeles Dodgers. Looking forward to this matchup and it's next on MLB Network. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gutierrez on the move. And that's the first out of the inning. In the Stepping in, Brad Miller. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Miller. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Peterson. Two down. In is the third baseman Evan Longoria. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. In. Into the windup and the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to the first baseman Gonzalez will take care of him and the inning is over. Settling in now, Logan Forsythe. It'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. Rogers. Second baseman, Logan Forsythe. Swing and a miss, 0-1. The windup and the 0-1. A shot down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now with the plate, Justin Turner, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First offering on its way. Ball one. One out, nobody on. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. On the ground to the right side. Miller gets to it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's Corey Seager. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Curveball that time, not even close. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Way in front of that fastball. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Corey Dickerson. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. Corey Dickerson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Peterson racing back, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in there safely as he starts the second with a double. Coming to the plate now, Wilson Ramos, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Quick giving chase. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Here's D. Gordon now. Second baseman, D. Gordon. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0 and 1 delivery. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. And the Rummel score as the Rays cash in on an early 1 0 lead. At the plate, Steven Souza. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First delivery to him on the way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Oh, 
one. Here's the pitch. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Into the box now, Matt Duffy. Trying to cash in here in his first at-bat with a runner at third and two gone. From the stretch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Forsyth into shallow center. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Now batting, Franklin Gutierrez. The matchup with Blake Snell now to lead off the inning. Franklin Gutierrez. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. And Gutierrez comes up empty there, and he's in a quick 0-2 hole now. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. So he throws him for the strikeout. Franklin Gutierrez becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. And there's a swing and a miss that time by Gonzalez. Two strikes to him now. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Here comes another 0 2. And a swing and a miss by Gonzalez as he comes up empty, and there are two away. Into the windup and the pitch. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Here comes Dickerson. He can't get to it. This one's down. And now is Yasiel Puig. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. A wave and a miss. He offered at that pitch out of the zone there, and I think that's a result of the previous pitch getting called against him. He might feel like he's deep. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Now at the plate, Blake Snell, 9 1 and Two do up. Blake Snell. Into the windup and the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Peterson is underneath this one and very quickly one gone. Ready for another Our chance. Kevin Kiermeyer. Oh for one here Kevin in the early going. Kiermeyer. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Faces are empty, one man out. Look out over near the on deck circle as he whistles this one fouled off to the left. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another 0 2. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Riding in once again, Brad Miller. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like he would really change the complexion of the inning. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. If this two hitter finds a way on. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Now at the plate, Jock Peterson. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Left fielder, Jock Peterson. And that nope. misses inside 1 and 0. Oh. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. And then that's a pretty good Here's example up. of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, 
and he really spotted that pitch. That was a tough pitch to spoil right there. A two strike change up on the corner. Tough pitch to foul off. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Hyunjin Ryu comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the Not inning. Second base. Digging in to try it Logan. again. Logan Forsythe. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Down the first baseline. And a heck of an effort over there at first. But it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer in the end. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Evan Longoria. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Evan Longoria. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. 0 and 1, here it comes. Hard ground ball to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now in the box, Corey Dickerson. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Well, they have been really aggressive swinging early in the count, early in this game, and that's twofold. You're either not going to get a high pitch count from the pitcher, which could go against you, or you're going to knock him out. We're coming right after you being aggressive. Right now, I think they're just being aggressive. How about him? Coming to the plate now, Wilson, Wilson Ramos, Ramos comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup and the pitch. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. And did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Digging in for his second at bat, Justin lead Turner will lead Dodgers. things off here in this one-run contest. Number 10. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Oh, one one pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. 0-2. Oh wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Justin Turner is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Corey Seager is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1 and 0. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Ready on 1 and 2. Hit to first. And he will just make it to the bag here in time, and that's out number two. So coming to the plate, Franklin Gutierrez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Here's Adrian now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he just misses with a curveball. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs and that one was able to find the zone. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning.
Here's D. Gordon now. He'll go to work trying to do something range. about breaking this 1-1 one, one tie. D. Gordon. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. At the plate, Steven Souza. He's 0 for 1 this far. Steven Souza. Here's the first pitch to him. A pitch out. The throw. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here it comes, 1 0. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. And now the runners try for third. Line foul into the seats over the Dodger dugout. Now a spin and a throw back to second, just keeping him close. Now a spin and another throw back to second, and he'll get back in safely. Runner breaks for third. Pitch inside the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on 2 and 2. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners at the corners now with still nobody out. Matt Guffey. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Grounded back up the middle. Played on the backhand. On the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Into the box, Blake Snell comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Digging in the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal. He'll start things out in the home half Catherine. of inning number five. Yosmani now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Miller is over, and he puts it away for the first down. And now is Yasiel Puig. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Swing and a line drive. But this is a foul ball. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Now batting left fielder. Jock nope. Peterson, Peterson is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Oh. Well, Matt, that's two quick outs, but if you look at the nope. pitch count, it's way down low. He's being aggressive, and so are they. He's got a chance to get through this one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that is... Riding in once again, Kevin Kiermaier. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Kiermaier. First offering on its way. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Ready once again, Brad Miller. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Puig. Still ranging back. Gone! Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and the right-hander up and throwing. 
down the third baseline. And that's through for a hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Corey Dickerson, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. He's set and the pitch. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Wilson Ramos. On the ground to third. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. And a close play at first, but he... You're Scott Van Slyke is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close, it's a ball and no strikes. Not close, it's 2-0. and oh. From the windup, the 2-0 -oh pitch. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And he gets this fastball over. Back to three and one now. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run. And then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, get it going. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Scott Van Slyke. Becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Well, he's really having good success in this game. And, you know, looking at it, you go, how's he doing it? Well, it's surely not the first pitch strike. I mean, he's a little over 60% first pitch strikes. That's good. It's not great. But the type of success he's having, you can't figure it out. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Logan Forsythe becomes out number two this inning. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Lifted in the air to center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And the inning is over. Jimmy Garcia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Digging in and looking for more. D. Gordon. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Tapper up the line, but it gets fouled. Now here's the pitch. There's a swing and a high pop up. Turner is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Steven Souza. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left hander has begun to get loose. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Comes set and the 0 1. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. Ready for another chance? Matt Duffy. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First offering on its way. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Matt, I'm telling you, pitchers are stubborn, right? He gives up a home run on that very same pitch, but he came back with it. This time he got it down. He's stubborn. I'm going to come back. I'm going to throw it again, but I'm going to execute it. And he did. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Matt Duffy is the second out in the seventh inning. Tim Beckham will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number one, Tim Beckham. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And now pitch on the way. High in the air out to center field. Gutierrez waits on it. No trouble with this one. And the Thank inning you, is you. over. Thank 
Tommy Hunter gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Here's Corey Seager. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. You know what I've been impressed with? He's really used that fastball to his advantage and he's recognized the fact he's throwing it by people. So he's continued to dominate with the heater and not check off of it much. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Here's Franklin Gutierrez. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's got five base hits in 22 tries. Souza is under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner scored on the sacrifice fly as they cut the lead in half, four to two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Adrian Gonzalez is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Well, both starters are out of the game, but you know it's so different today. Now you almost want to get to the bullpen before you extend that starter. At least that's how it seems most managers play it these days. That misses one and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yosmani Grandal is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. This is line to left. Dickerson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Adam Liberatore has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. Way in front of a great slider that time. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Digging in to try it again. Brad Miller. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. So a runner at first now with one away and standing in here is the very dangerous third baseman Evan Longoria. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Gutierrez looking up and off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Corey Dickerson. And here's a ball hit in the air. Seeger onto the grass, and that's the second out of the inning. At the plate, Wilson Ramos. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit on the ground out for short. And a low throw, but some fun. Dirt work there by Gonzalez as he digs this one out. Digging in once again. Yasiel Puig. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Danny Farquhar is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Now pitching for Tampa Bay. Number 43. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. John Peterson is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1 0. In the dirt. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And the pitch on two and one. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. 
Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Andrew Cole will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Way behind. Oh, the Neck pitch. It's 0 and 1. Breaking ball taken right down the middle. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. First offering on its way. Morgan Forsythe stands in as he looks at a called strike. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. Called strike two. Ball three. Three and two now. Justin Turner, who represents the potential tying run here, waits on deck. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 6 3 contest. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. The batter number five. Corey Seager is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. Alex Wood enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Into the windup and the pitch. Steven Souza is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Now that's a good changeup right there. You know the guy's sitting fastball. You get him out in front. Now that changeup's in his head the rest of the at-bat. Got him to go down swinging there. Steven Souza goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Two out, nobody on. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is... Alex Colome comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Alex Franklin Gutierrez is in to start Leading things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Did you see that swing? He threw it right by him. I'll tell you what, this is the alpha male battle. I wouldn't be surprised to see another fastball right here. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Franklin Gutierrez goes quietly to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Fouled back. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Yasmani Grandal is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down. Two to go. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. Ramos has got it. Throw on to first will be in time. And the Rays are going to 
take home field advantage right back. They win game three to go up two games to one as this one is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Hey, when you go out there and punch out 11.